welcome back to my channel. It is La Demi, of course, and today I am doing a full-on get ready with me, and this is like my super glam go-to quick look, I feel like. Whenever I am going out in nightlife, I do amp it up so much more with like more of a contour and more of like maybe a cut crease and more techniques on the makeup, but on a quick go-to, this is my technique, and this is basically how I've been doing my makeup. If you like this look, keep on watching because I'm going to show you how to take the perfect makeup selfie. Actually, I'm not going to show you how to take the actual picture. I'm going to show you the makeup to beat your face with to take that perfect selfie you've probably been longing for. So. Okie dokie guys, so we are starting with a bare face and I like to use two different primers. First, I use my mattifying primer down my T-zone because I get so oily. And for the rest of my face, I like to use a hydrating primer to keep me nice and dewy. For an everyday look, I have really been loving my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. It is in the shade Y345 and I used to apply it with a beauty blender. Then I realized the beauty blender was actually taking more of the product off on the sponge and not applying it on my face. So when I started applying it with a brush, I realized it was giving me really a flawless finish when I applied it in circular motions. So go ahead and give this a try if you are trying this foundation and I'm sure you will be obsessed as I am. I really love hydrating my lips as I work on my face because when I get back to my lips, my lips are super just hydrated and luscious. This is my favorite concealer ever. I kind of use it as a base concealer, a priming concealer because I have freckles and dark circles. I work this concealer into the inner, far inner corners of my nose, kind of like the walls of my nose far inner corner of my eyes, outer corner of my eyes, and down, all the way down to my laugh lines. I also put it on my eyelids as kind of like an eyeshadow base, and also my chin, bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. I just kind of really all work it in until it's nicely, evenly blended out. I am still obsessed with the NYX Wonder Stick Contour Stick. Um, I don't know why. I did use the Kim Kardashian Contour Stick, but I think I'll stick to this one. I used to go really crazy with adding so much product, but once I started blending it out, I realized that a little bit actually goes a long way. Also, this is my new techniques of contouring my face. I used to be really crazy and do all this other extraterrestrial shit. But this is basically my newest way and how I do it and how I buff it out. Go ahead and watch and learn and enjoy. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. You're stirring things up, my heart is beating. Oh. For buffing out my nose contour, I have come to the realization that Kim Kardashian's Kabuki little brush works so amazing. I like to drag my little contour line, cream line that I made up into my brow and kind of drag it back and forth until it's completely vanished. Next, this is my second go-to concealer, Lock and Load. This really conceals the deal. and. Um, locks and load any blemish or anything that's really showing i put this as you can see really far up on my nose to give me a really small tiny nose also i drag this all the way far out on my outer eye my forehead down the bridge of my nose and down to my laugh line and with the access i kind of clean up around my contour lines just to even things up and make everything nice clean and even you know a bitch ain't shit if she ain't baking, so here I am, gonna go ahead and bake. I like to bake far up on my nose. Once again, this is gonna 
naturally give your nose a nice natural looking contour rather than you putting such harsh bronzer down the sides of your nose and all that this is going to make your nose look so fucking tiny and snatched um i make this blow fish fucking look to really get into the pores and it actually works I like to get my hairs going all in the same direction and once I dip my brush into the pomade I like to get a good amount to go ahead and give me a good shape because I only dip my brush into the pomade once and I shape out my the ending of my brow then with the excess on my brush I go ahead and kind of blend it into the beginning of my brow to give my brow that nice gradiency. This little fucker is literally mascara for eyebrows and it thickens up the hairs in my eyebrows and makes them look fuller. I'm gonna tell you right now. I like to put a neutral powder base on my lids before I go ahead and add my shadows. Ugh, I am so obsessed with the Huda Beauty um, Desert Palette. I'm using Amber as my transition shade. For more dimension, I'm going to be adding, fuck, I don't know what it's called, it's called OUD, O-U-D, it's called O-U-D in the palette, and I'm going to add that for more dimension on the corners, I'm going to take that brush I was previously using with Amber and kind of buff it out everywhere, and it's going to kind of really help me. For my lid, I'm going to go ahead and take Neferiditi, holy shit, Neferiditi, and I did like my brush to kind of get it really pigmented because that's how I like it. And I feel like whenever I do like it, it just makes it so just shiny and pigmented. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to that brush I used with Amber just to kind of go over back and forth and dust off any excess to kind of clean it up. The one that I can live without. Wipe away under eye setting powder. I have not used these lashes yet, but I'm going to go ahead and try them. This glue has got to be the best glue in the whole entire world. It's actually weed glue that I discovered at Sally's. Once you actually put it on and apply it to your lashes or it even touches your skin, it immediately just dries up and attaches to your lashes or skin. You do not have to wait for it to get tacky or anything. So I find it really easy to work with and just like a bam boom. I like to press my lashes up on the corners to kind of give them an uplifting as they dry. To give my eyebrows a really nice depth after all these powders, I like to go back in with the Tartelette and Bloom palette and I use Smoke Show just to kind of go back in and fill in any transparent pieces in my eyebrows and really give my eyebrows a really nice dark dimension. To bronze up my face, I use a Too Faced Dark Chocolate um, bronzer and I kind of go over all of the areas I had previously contoured. Hula bronzer for my nose contour because it has no shimmer to it and it's matte. When I contour my nose, I do not add it to the sides of my nose, only to the tippy tippy top tips of my nose and I drag it all the way up into my eyebrows to really give it just a narrow point. I do not add it to the sides of my walls. 
to clean up the sides of my walls and make my nose look even tinier, I add the white Anastasia powder to the sides and really drag it as far up as I can. I'm going to go back in with amber and go underneath my eyes to smoke it out a bit and I feel like doing this, as everyone has probably said, really opens up your eyes, makes your eye pop and really gives you just a gorgeous appeal to the eye, especially if you're going to wear contacts with your eye makeup left. When I add my blush, I like to add it to the far inner, like towards like the inner corner of my laugh line and drag it all the way out to my temples. I like to add it really close to my laugh line because I feel like it just makes you look so youthful and feminine. I add it to the tip of my nose, my chin, and my temples and above my eyebrow area. It just really gives you a youthful feminine look to any makeup look. Rencon Cosmetics highlighters are the best highlighters and when I highlight I do not put it on directly on my cheekbone where it pops out. I like to put it on the top of my cheekbone kind of almost as if I was putting it on top of the blush and the bronzer. I just feel like it really makes it pop and makes it 10 times more apparent. I like to highlight my cupid's bow to really make my lips look pouty. A little bit on my chin will go a long way. This is my new way of highlighting my nose. I now do a horizontal thick line on the tip of my nose and I do the exclamation point of course but I do it above like this and then to buff it out I use my fingertip and it really gives me just a nose job really skinny appeal and gives my nose a whole new look since I do have a bald tip it gives it more of a square pretty tip and with the extra remaining on the brush I like to put it on the inner corners of my eye and reiterate on my cupid bow and upper lip to make sure I'm not highlighted out of my mind I like to uh, dust off with my bronzer brush put mascara on but not on your bottom lashes I will put on lip liner. I think this is Soar by MAC Cosmetics. I do like to overline just a little bit, but not too much. This is my favorite lipstick called Mona P by Rencon Cosmetics. Use my code LAWDEMI to get money off of your purchase as well money off of the highlighters that I use. For setting spray coming up I am using wet and wild matte finish. When I spray my face I like to spray a shit ton but when I spray a shit ton I also have a fan blowing in front of me that you can't see so I put my face right in front of the fan because I feel like it needs to like air dry into your pores. So you need to fan yourself as well as sit in front of a fan or do something like that to really get it dry. And with the access of your beauty blender of whatever setting powder you have on it, I like to go ahead and press that into my skin and any areas that are left with damp setting spray. And bitch, before you think we are done, I still have to put my eyes in that I am always wearing because bitch has to look like Megan Fox these days. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching me on this video. I hope you loved it. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hope you guys liked my video. Um, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more Get Ready With Me or How To Take The Perfect Makeup Selfie or other videos of that sort. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And until next time, don't forget to live your life with the perfect selfie, of course. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Keep your